Hi there and welcome to this video in the IBM Cloud Foundation skill series and in this video I'm going to show you how to create an IBM Cloud account and to do this you just need two simple things first of all you need a browser which is obviously connected to the internet and uh, then you also need an email address as well okay so here I am in a browser I'm using Google Chrome uh, but uh, you can use any browser any modern day browser that you wish to do this uh, the main reason I'm using Google it's just that I've just created a, a Gmail account. So this is the account that I'm actually going to use to set up my IBM Cloud account against. I'm not gonna show you how to create an email account in Gmail. Um, I'm sure you can uh, figure that one out for yourself. But again, if uh, if you've already, if you're using a, a, a corporate account for this, then obviously you already have an email and the process for actually creating an account there is, is slightly different. But, um, but if you're creating an account for yourself from scratch, then using a Gmail account is a pretty easy thing to do if you don't already have an email address. Anyway, let's go back to Google and uh, we're going to go and uh, actually access the IBM Cloud Console. So if you go to cloud.ibm.com, uh, you'll get to a screen like this. So this is the login screen. So obviously, if you've already, already got an account, you'd put your IBM ID in here and click continue. But we don't have an account, so I'm going to click Create an Account. And then we get to the Create an Account screen. So this is all very, very easy. So let's put in that email address that I've just created. So ibmcloud.user50 um, at gmail.com. And uh, I then just need to um, create a password. So my password needs to um, obviously comply to each of these. So I'm just going to put a password in. Okay, so there's my password and you can see it complies with all the different rules here. So I've got green ticks. Then I'm just going to click the next button. And uh, what's basically happened now is a verification email has been sent to my, to my uh, email address. So I just need to go and look at that and see what the code is in there. So if I click on here, you can see that's already arrived. So if I click on the email, there's my verification code. So if I just go and uh, just go and copy that and then paste it into here. Again, click next. So it's then just verifying the code for me just to make sure that I really do have an email address and it's my email. Right, then I just need to put in my personal information. So um, let's just go and do that. So I'm not going to use my own name here because again it just gets a bit confusing because I've got several different accounts now. So I'm actually going to call myself um, IBM IBM Cloud User, and uh, you just need to select the right country because this. So when you select your country or region, it just uh, it's just part of the configuration for, for IBM Cloud. Okay, so click next again. So um, so next is a create account button. So just take a bit of notice of some of these uh, bits and pieces here. So if you don't want to be uh, contacted by IBM, then just uncheck the buttons. Or, or if you want to be uh, con contacted, then um, then then check them. Um, I'm going to uncheck them because obviously I, I don't want to have lots of uh, uh, any contact from from IBM because obviously I work for them anyway. Um, but if you but but it's some, sometimes if you want to get some uh, hints and tips, then uh, actually getting that sent by email is quite useful. But again, you can withdraw consent at any time and that sort of stuff. So anyway, just uh, make sure you've checked the terms and conditions and privacy statements, all that sort of stuff. And then once you're happy, click Create Account and off it goes. Okay, so that's it for this video. And hopefully you've seen that it is really, really simple to actually create an account on IBM Cloud. So again, if you want to go and do that, go to cloud.ibm.com and just follow the on-screen instructions. Anyway, as I said, that's it for this video. I hope it's been useful and you've enjoyed it. And as always, if you want to know when new content drops, please take time to subscribe. Anyway, see you next time.